Communications Gallery. And it really, I, I always say our, our, the shoulders of our staff are two inches higher because we're so proud to be the National Gallery. What do you think were the most difficult decision points in deciding to reopen here? Yeah, I often point out that as challenging as it was to close the National Gallery of Art very quickly, that it would be much more difficult to reopen the National Gallery. We're doing time ticketing and, you know, the National Gallery, of course, has always been free admission and we continue to be free, but we're asking visitors to go onto our website to reserve a spot so that we can control the total numbers of people in the building at any given time. I'm happy to say that one of the things that we learned is how um, delighted people are to come back and really uh, we've heard nothing but grateful responses to people that they can come and get away from it all. We've also found that people have been um, very understanding about the requirement to wear masks and, and very willing uh, to wear masks. So we decided on the ground floor of the West Building because it's easy entrance but most importantly because we have two really important exhibitions that we opened just prior to closure. True to Nature, a beautiful um, landscape oil sketch show that people can come and escape to another world with. And the other exhibition is Degas at the Opera, a major exhibition we're doing with the Musée d'Orsay in Paris. And um, it was already supposed to be closing and so I'm thrilled to say that we were able to extend both exhibitions. We think it's really important that we're reopening and, and welcoming people back so that they can see the nation's collection.